Coming to you live from the On Access Studios in beautiful downtown Torrance, it's the Quarantine Comedy Show with special guests Joel Marshall and Cynthia Levin. With musical guests Cheris Ray and friends. And now the host of the Quarantine Comedy Show, Tom Kearney. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Quarantine Comedy Show. I'm Tom Kearney, your host, and it's great to have you back. I know a lot has gone on this past week and... Mom, mom, I'm doing the comedy show. You remember what I talked about? Remember what I talked about? Okay, she's like, okay. So a lot has been going on uh, uh, right now in the country and I think we're starting to come... Oh, good Lord. Oh, I, I forgot, it's lunchtime. Hang tight. Here you go, mother. Okay? Enjoy your meal. What? No, no, we, we don't have any milk. No, we haven't had milk in a week, Ma. No, I'll, I'll make you some flour milk when, it, when I finish the show, okay? What? No, no. For di Lamb shank? No, we, we don't have that. We don't have that, Mother. Sorry. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> lamb shank? She wants a lamb shake for dinner. Lamb, what does she think this is? The Ritz? <laughs> really? I mean, okay, for one thing, I don't think you should eat anything with the word shank in it. Am I right? I mean, shank. It's, it's, it, it, it sounds like something you should put ointment on. Yes, um, waiter, can you tell us about your specials? Yes, well, for this evening, we have a nice lamb shank. It's uh, pan-fried and comes with a nice neosporin glaze. It has a, a thin layer of gauze and comes with a side of shingles. Mmm. Yeah. I'll have that. Shank. <laughs> lamb shank. What did she think? She's out of her mind. You know what we got? I'll tell you what we got. We got peanut butter and jelly and we got black beans. That's it. End of list. This morning, I, I had a, a, a black bean protein shake. If I have any more black beans, I'm going to lose my mind. It was kind of earthy. All right, you guys, let's get the show started. Coming up is this fantastic comic out of Koreatown right here in Los Angeles. He performs all over Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Joel Marshall. Joel Marshall, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Tom. Yeah, I'm working out, man. I can't stop because I got to get the, the quad bot. Everybody's going to come out of this thing just ripped. And I'm going to be more ripped because I'm, uh, you know, working out three to five times a day, and I'm uh, eating right, I'm doing you know, keto, fasting, and uh, I'm gonna get rid of this dad bot, dude. I am gonna get ripped, I'm gonna get so ripped. I'm doing this workout called the 30 minute hit, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm doing a lot of meditation too, dude. You know, I gotta get rid of those thoughts that are in my head, you just can't have them. You can't be an actor. You can't be a comedian without the thoughts. You gotta have a blank slate. I might even run for president, Tom. You know, there's still room for another contender out there. Joel Marshall, 2020. No thoughts. Back to you, Tom. <sighs> hey, give it up for Joel Marshall, ladies and gentlemen. That guy's an animal. Holy cow. Hey, Joel, look. You got my vote for president, pal. Okay, look, I think you do a little bit better job than what we got. I don't know, I'm just saying, I don't, look, ventilators, are you serious? Really, really, we don't have ventilators? I decided to take matters into my own hands. And Mr. President, if you're watching, and I know you are, I know you watch. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the solution to all our problems, the Breeze Easy 2000, at the heart of this powerful unit, is a two amp oxygen pump. Powerful pump that can keep you breathing whether you like it or not. And because the body is in threes, mind, body, and soul. I've installed Bluetooth speakers in the skull unit here. That way you can listen to tranquil music. It helps center the chi. For the mind, I've installed a CBD vacuum pump. 
Now this helps lower stress and keeps you, keeps you tranquilo. Let me show you how this bad boy works. You wanna take your bucket, fill it up with your CBD fluid. Then you wanna install your oxygen unit, like so. Take the unit, you wanna install it on your utility belt here. Okay? Now, it's a good idea to have at least a, a, a 25, maybe 50 foot cord so you can move around the house. You can go from the, uh, the, the bedroom to the kitchen, back to the bathroom with ease, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna do is get that Bluetooth going. Yeah, uh-huh, I'm relaxed already. Okay, next you wanna install the skull unit. You wanna make sure that this bad boy is securely fastened, like so. All right, the first thing you wanna do is get that CBD going right away. Yeah, uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. <coughs> All right, so what I like to do, when you're using a unit like this, it's a good idea to keep the blood flowing through the body. Keep the chi centered. So I like to do some Tai Chi, I like to do some Qi Gong, something along those lines. Let me show you how this bad boy works. I feel like a hundred bucks, which is just about how much this bad boy costs. All right, coming up next, a fantastic comic. She performs all over Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Cynthia Levin. Cynthia Levin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm um, alone in my apartment. And let me tell you, I have performed in a lot of shitty venues. And this is definitely the shittiest, the shittiest. There's nobody here. I would call that a shit venue. Um, great energy, what a vibe, loving this. I don't get it, I don't get it. And listen, um, you know, I'm supposed to be an actress and for an actress, I have no good angles. So this is also totally sickening. It's sickening. You know that they have actors now, you have to do all these self tapes. Did you know that? And I think you know that. And um, so now everybody has to have their own production company. They have to have their own white wall. They have to have their own lights. They have to have their own camera set up, their, their own tripod. They, they need to have, um, you know, and also they have to have somebody there to read with them. Yes, and then they want us to and edit it, of course, and, and then send it in. And, um, and of course, do your slate, of course. And, um, and then you never hear from them again. So, you know, who knows? It takes maybe three hours, four hours. Depends. Sometimes five or six if you're a real idiot like myself. I mean, I teach acting, and I still don't know how to do anything. Um, I should stop teaching and start doing it more. <laughs> Listen, I'm old, okay? And I'm especially old for somebody who hasn't accomplished anything yet. And boy, I gotta tell you, I've had a really shitty life. Anybody else? Really shitty life. And, um, you know, like, you know, I used to cry, you know, all day, every day. And now I just cry half the week. So I'm doing so much better. And you know how you've had a really shitty life and you haven't achieved anything yet, but all of a sudden, you know, you start feeling better, you know, at like 54. And then you're like, hey world, I'm ready. I am so ready. 
I feel confident and um, I know I can do what I want to do. I really know it. And then you go outside and you're like, wait a minute, what? What do you mean there's a pandemic? What do you talk? What do you mean cover, cover my face? What, what do you mean? What, what's that Kleenex hanging out? There's no Kleenex in my pocket. What are you talking about? Get back inside, bitch. There's a goddamn virus. It's not time for you to start your life yet. Shove it. I don't care if you're single, okay? So yeah, I felt ready for dating as well. Um, so luckily I have some Old Spice cologne that I bought myself to remind myself that men do exist. And I did have one at one time and I put it on and actually I don't feel so frail anymore. I feel masculine and I feel like I don't even need a man. I feel like I could take care of everything in myself. I mean, everything's actually working out. I can do this. And, um, and, uh, I have nothing left to say except for girls, put your tits away. Oh, hey, Cynthia Eleven, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Good job, Cynthia. All right, coming up next, we have a musical guest, Cheris Ray in Friends. But since she's on quarantine and it's really just her partner in crime, Steve Smythe. So technically, it's Cheris Ray and friend. But it's always good to have a drummer in the family. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheris Ray. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. Wasn't that fantastic, huh, huh? All right, as I just uh, gearing up here, I gotta head on over to Ralph's, uh, pick up some black beans, maybe find a lamb shank for mother. She deserves it. All right, well, tune in next time. We got Mike Perkins and Christine Facchetti. You're not gonna wanna miss this, it's gonna be hilarious. Thanks a lot for tuning in to the Quarantine Comedy Show. I'm Tom Kearney. From the On Access Studios in beautiful downtown Torrance, it's the Quarantine Comedy Show 